Time is a limited commodity. There are only 24 hours in the day. There is nothing you can do about that. Time is always moving forward. Whether we're paying attention or not, we blink our eyes and another day has passed. Did we get what we wanted to do? Did we even know what we wanted to do? Or did that time simply move past without any recognition of whether or not we had accomplished tasks that were important that were gonna move us forward? This is a hard stop, a framework, a limited commodity, 24 hours a day. That breaks down into 1,440 minutes. The seven minute life can become that big transformational piece, that journey that you've been looking for, that one piece of how you can make your life more organized. How can you move from the chaos into these repeatable systems. This theory of the seven minute life is that you need repeatable systems, repeatable processes that are simple. If they're 1,440 minutes, we're gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you to take 1% of your time, 1%, which is 14 minutes a day, 14 minutes a day to think, to plan, to get the clutter out of your mind, to make some decisions. And that's one of the things that people don't realize they can do is that, you know, when you're stuck and you're frozen and you just feel like you can't even move forward, by taking this 1% of our time, we can begin to realize that we do have choices. We can make decisions. Doesn't mean that other things aren't gonna happen, but we can make decisions. This is what we do in the evening. With just a small amount of time, seven minutes in the evening, in the morning, you're gonna take that seven minutes and everything's gonna change. You know, all good plans change because in the morning, you're gonna to need to recalibrate. You're gonna to have to look at what's happened overnight, to look at what your emails are saying, the phone calls, the projects that have shifted on their deadlines. All the planning in the evening can be very helpful, but it's gonna to have to, at some point, be filtered down through what happens overnight. So here's your filter. New things are gonna come into your life. So in the morning, you don't just stop planning, you start recalibrating. In the evening, you take that seven minutes to write down, to think about what you want to do, to plan the best way to, to accomplish those tasks, to at least take those things that are swirling in your head and put them on a piece of paper. And when you do these things, you can make decisions of what's important. And as you do that, you're doing something that is important. You're creating an ordinary to-do list because it has to be written down. At the same time in the evening, you're just getting everything out of your mind. And you create this to-do list that all of a sudden looks a little bit better. So you take all these things that are written down and you say, okay, here's the first thing that I need to do. That's the most important. Here's the second thing that I need to do. Here's the third thing, the fourth thing, and the fifth thing. So in that seven minutes, you're thinking about those things, you're just taking this kind of high level view of what are the things that are most important, what do I really need to get done?